Hello Grade 3, this is a quick video on how to make our presentation for a project we're doing right now. Um, I've got a window open here, this is a Chrome window, and it's uh, I'm in a sign-in page for Drive, but any Google sign-in page will work. I'm going to sign in as my, oh that's not the right one, test student account. You sign in your normal first name, last name at gemsda.net your password on in there and click sign in. Now I started a drive. If you start anywhere else, um, you shouldn't have that. You would may come to the email, you may come to sites first, it's fine. If you go to anywhere else, just click on the word drive up here. That'll get you to the drive site, this page here. And it has this red button here on the side that says create. I want to click that button and when I do it gives me these choices. I can make a drawing, I can make a form, I can make a spreadsheet, but today we want to make a presentation. That's what we're doing today. So click on presentation, and right away it's going to come up with this slideshow. It lets you make a slideshow. So let me dismiss that. Uh, I like to go simple dark, but it depends on a lot your taste. Choose the one you like. Uh, I you know maybe I'll make it light gradient today. Yeah, that one looks good. Okay, so I'll choose that. And here I am. I'm at the place now where I can start making my slideshow. Now up here's the title bar. I can leave that for right now, but to remember what I'm doing here, I want to give it a title. So remember, this is our book review presentation, and so I'm just going to call that book review. It's going to save it automatically. As I type, it's going to get saved into my account. Okay, so as long as I'm signed in here, I'm okay. I don't have to save it. Now my first slide, I'm going to be reviewing a book I really like, which is Hatchet. So, and I'm going to click the subtitle here. I'm just going to say by. Okay, great. Now, it'd be even better if I had a picture here, you know, of the book title. So, Let's get a picture real quickly. I'm going to open a new tab, and just my search bar here, I'm going to go into, I'm just going to search Hatchet. Now, Hatchet's going to get me to all kinds of weird stuff, but hey, look over here, images. Just what I wanted. So I click on images. I could have clicked over there. I'm going to choose one I like. Mm. I think this one here looks pretty good. Now, when you're choosing an image, we want to choose one that's big enough. These numbers here are the size. We want at least to be 400. That kind of that kind of size is okay. Anything smaller would be really hard to view. So I'm going to just save this. I click save uh, save image as, and I call it Hatchet One. The fine title there, and I save that. And come on back over here, and now I can go insert. I can insert this image. It's going to go into my photos, the same place I choose the image here. And where did my hatchet go? All kinds of crazy photos in my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Cool. And so I've inserted the image. Now, it's not the right spot. It's not the right size. I've got to use these arrows to drag it around and change the size. So I'm going to be smaller. And I want to just put it up in the corner here, I think. And you know what? Let's move this over so this makes more sense. Oh, up there. Bring this text box over. Okay. And this should match as well. I have this over as well. There we go. Now, not bad. Let's bring this down just a bit. So there we go. There's my cover slide. Now, to make the next slide, I just click this plus sign here. It makes a new slide. And again, I can keep adding information. So on the website, there's the directions for all the slides I'd like you to make. What I need to do is keep making those slides until you've got all the slides done. It's going to take you a while. Don't rush through it. Take your time. Make all the slides. When you're done, the, you're going to go back to your drive, your main drive uh, desktop here. And you'll find the file is right here. I didn't have to click save. It's automatically saved. Everything I do is, is there automatically. I don't have to do anything. Now, what I can do here on share, 
before I do this, I want to click share and I want to make it click off this, change this. So it's going to go anybody at DAA with the link. That's important because we're going to be putting it onto our site. And if we don't have this clicked off, it won't work. So I click that, hit save. Ooh, there we go. And we can get it done there. Okay. Now the next step here, just one second. The next step here, now I'm not done, but if you were done, the next step is going to be to put this into your website. So what I need to do here is I'm going to go to sites. Now I, and it's going to bring up my portfolio website. Okay. So I click on that. And if you haven't added, and this test student hasn't added a site about reading yet, you have to make your reading page. If you already have a reading page, just go there. But I'm going to make a reading page really quickly. So I make a new page. Reading. Great. Okay. I don't need to do anything else. No, I might put that underneath there. That's fine. Click create. That makes the reading page uh, on here. Now, it automatically went to edit, but for some people it won't. So just click the pencil if it's up there. And now when I'm here, I want to click insert. I want to insert from drive here and insert presentation. And it automatically brings me into my drive. Now I only have one presentation there. Click select, hit, and there we go. Now I can restart in there, but that's okay. I think, you know, just choose the size. I think I want to make this one medium size. Click save, and there it is in there. Now you won't see it at first, it leaves this gray box, but that's okay. When you hit save, and you come back here, you'll notice it wrote up, and there's your presentation. Mine is only one slide, but yours will be more. That's all the directions. If you have any more questions, stop by my room, ask me anything, shoot me an email. Love to hear from you guys. Love to watch this video. Thanks.